What's up family, this is Daku, and welcome to Operation Black Independence. Today, there seems to be some confusion as to what our activities should be on this July the 4th, 2015. Now the confusion is not just in the unconscious community, but also in the conscious community. Black people are trying to figure out, you know, well it is an important day, so perhaps we should be doing something. Well, we're going to, according to the lunar calendar and the solar calendar, share with you just what we should be doing during this time of the year. As you can see, I'm here in our vegetable garden, and there are some specific things that you should be doing between the 3rd of July and the 13th of July. Some have narrowed it down just to the 4th, probably and secretly because they really would like to celebrate Independence Day with their slave master. It's been ingrained in them socially and culturally for many, many years. We understand as we look at the lunar and solar calendar that it's actually a time period and not specifically just one day. It's a time period that we should be doing some very specific things. This is the day for harvesting. It's the, the day for weeding. It's a day for cultivating. It's a day for pest control. And it's also a time period for fertilizing your plants. Now, one of the reasons you wanna weed periodically is that your weeds are gonna compete with your vegetables for the nutrients that are in the soil. So if you can get the weeds out of there, then there's more nutrients for your actual vegetables that you'll be eating to draw from. The other thing is that we wanna harvest. Now, you can either be shooting off in fireworks or you can be in your garden harvesting all these good vegetables that you've been growing, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and harvest so we can can and use for later. But we're gonna go ahead and harvest our green beans so you can see just how many we have and we'll show you how to do that in a moment. So if we zoom in here, you'll see that we have some nice sized green beans here. These are some big green beans, ladies and gentlemen. And you don't really want them to get too big. They should be about six or seven inches and these green beans are a little less than six inches. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and harvest these green beans. So what you wanna do is reach in here with two hands, just snap them off. Better to use two hands, because if you use one hand, you can break the whole branch off. You don't want to do that, because you want to leave room to grow more things. And this is just one plant here. So far, that's what we got from one plant. Nice handful. So we're gonna move on to the next plant. 